AT&T has launched the nation's first mobile 5G network, so 5G is out there. And they're about to upgrade millions of phones already out there to, well, say that they support 5G. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you an update on the race to 5G. And there's been a pretty major milestone. Uh, this past Friday, December 21st, AT&T turned on and launched the first mobile 5G network in the United States. Now, AT&T has been talking up for the entire past year that they were going to be the first company to launch mobile 5G, and they were going to do it by the end of the year. So they had a lot riding on getting something out the door. And well, that's basically what they did. They got something. It's not really a product launch. It's more of in 12 cities, select businesses and consumers, not people can sign up, but select people will be handpicked to get a free trial of the Nighthawk 5G hotspot and free service. Love so <laughs> this is this is not the actual Nighthawk 5G, by the way. This is the little brother. This is the old Nighthawk 4G LT. So the, the Nighthawk 5G is the big brother. Some people are calling it the size of a plate. So think of a big version of this, 5G version, is now available if you're lucky enough to get selected and if you're in one of those 12 launch cities, parts of those 12 launch cities, because they're only basically launching in certain neighborhoods. So that's what AT&T put out. They did meet their deadline, if you consider that an actual consumer launch, and have said that the actual data plans will be going live to a broader audience and the, hot, the Nighthawk 5G will be off on sale sometime in spring. The Nighthawk 5G will be a $499 device, so pretty pricey. And, well, now, the data plan. They finally revealed what the data plan will be. $70 a month for 15 gigabytes of data. That is kind of laughable when you consider what the speed potential is of a 5G network that um, you can theoretically burn through your data in just two or three minutes if you were doing some big downloads. So not at all an impressive data plan. Um, and, well, of course, AT&T is saying this is just the first tease. They're going to be learning from this. And as things go, they will be adjusting their plans and their prices and the devices and everything else. So it's basically them hedging their bets, meeting their internal deadline. And then now they get to wait and see what Verizon and T-Mobile do when they also launch their mobile 5G networks next year. But at least AT&T gets to claim to be first. Now, the other big AT&T news is they revealed that they're going to um, remotely upgrade potentially millions of recent Android phones, Android flagship phones, to start saying that they have 5G. Now, this is not some sort of magic little uh, upgrade where you're really getting 5G. What AT&T is doing is their network for the past year, the areas where they've upgraded their cell towers, they've been calling it 5G evolution to indicate this is part of the pathway to real 5G. They've been upgrading the cell towers to support technologies like 4x4 MIMO, 256 QAM, um, multi-channel carry aggregation, and then the devices that support this can actually be really, really, really fast, but they're using old 4G LTE technology. at and is calling that 5G evolution, and well, they're now going to upgrade a lot of these devices that are already out there to start saying 5GE on them when they're in these 5G evolution areas. Is that fake 5G or is it just marketing smoke and mirrors? Is it really, really matter? Well, they're kind of getting a, a laughed at by the industry press and analysts right now for trying to pull that stunt. But it's actually what AT&T did this time back in the launch of when 4G LTE first launched, Verizon was first to market with LTE and AT&T's 4G network, well, 3G network, was so much farther ahead of Verizon's that in a lot of places it was basically as fast as Verizon's first generation LTE. So to rather than feel like their devices were out of date, AT&T got the device manufacturers to start displaying 4G um, when they were in these upgraded 3G areas. Uh, T-Mobile did the same thing, and then when LTE came along, it changed from just 4G to 4G slash LTE. So it's kind of a same marketing tricks, marketing game as AT&T did way back when. And we're starting it down, uh, starting it again. So to kind of summarize, AT&T going forward is going to have kind of a three-tier 5G network. They're going to have 
5G E, which is basically just upgraded 4G LTE, actually will work with a lot of existing devices. They will have um, 5G Plus, which is what they're calling their millimeter wave network. That's what just launched um, in these 12 cities, and that's a very short range technology. And then they eventually will have just 5G nationwide, um, an upgraded uh, uh, next generation network. That will be actually coming out probably at the end of 2019. So they've got 5G Plus on the new bigger uh, Nighthawk in 12 cities right now. And, well, that's kind of the state of 5G. The, the race continues. We'll be seeing what Verizon and T-Mobile do as they come into 2019. And there will be a whole lot more mobile 5G devices coming out by this time next year. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.